morning everybody it's another new day Well, I had big plans to get out the door earlier today. I was gonna get up like an hour earlier than usual, relax. Ended up only getting going 10 minutes earlier than I wanted to. <laughs> well, the camera won't be picking it up, but we got a little bit of a light snow coming down this morning. But it's not too cold. It's supposed to be pretty warm this week and then it's gonna drop down to like minus 30 again next weekend if the weather people are right. So better enjoy these few days of warmer weather because winter's coming again. Okay. So you down there still haven't gotten a work bag. So we got the Tim's now. And everybody still goes through the drive-thru. I don't know if they don't realize that nobody's inside, but there's a big lineup around the drive-thru. And there's nobody at the till inside. And they let us go inside now because they're so kind and generous. So I'm gonna go inside and get my coffee before any of these people in the lineup around the drive-thru get it. That's, thank you. Way faster. Some people are still waiting in the lineup wondering why the lineup's taking so long. I walk in and walk out like a boss. Got my chimmies. Why is everyone scared to go inside? Or is it that they're lazy? They don't want to get out of their cars in the morning. And I understand. I understand. No judgment. I'm not always a morning person either. All right. Let's go drive some trucks. Doesn't really matter how much of a morning person you are. If there's driving trucks involved, it's gonna be a good day. I don't know. Driving trucks plus Timmy's. I don't know. This wonderful oxygen we can breathe out here because we don't live in a big mega city. It's nice clean air. Got clean water. Got food. It's gonna be a good day. Did I mention we're driving trucks? <laughs> I'm not sure what the plans are for today. Uh, I remember my truck from last week was having a bit of issues towards the end of the day. We're not too sure what was going on there. Uh, it needed a regen, but it wasn't accepting the regen that uh, the mechanic was trying to perform. But he got it to the point where we could get it back to the shop and he was going to finish looking at it over the weekend or this morning, on Monday morning. So I'm hoping it's all good to go. Usually it is, you know? He's never let me down. I haven't known him that long but he seems like a really good guy. He's always on the ball. He's there early. And I'm sure that by the time I get there today, it'll all be warmed up and ready to go. We can start the week off like that. I'm not too sure really what was going on with it last week. I mean, I'm not a mechanic. I, I kind of wish I had a little bit more of a, a, a talent fixing diesel trucks because that would come in very handy seeing as I love to drive the trucks but you know if they break down it's something that I can't just bolt off and bolt back on like an alternator or like a belt or something like a fuel filter I usually just well it's usually smarter than just to leave it to the professionals but I wouldn't even try I mean if I open that engine up I don't think I'm going to be able to put it back together but hey that's because I didn't go to school for that I never learned that would have been nice if I did though. So if you're young and you're thinking about getting into trucking, if you want to be like a super keener, uh, is that a word just up here in Canada? Like a super uh, diligent or a super, what does that mean? Like a, like a keener, like a go-getter. That's a good one. If you want to be a real go-getter, go and get your diesel mechanics courses behind you and then get your CDL class one behind you and then when you break down you can fix it If you own the truck, I don't know. I don't know. Does that make sense? Very often when you get pulled over by DOT or uh, 
you know, the highway patrol, whatever, if something's broken on your truck, they won't even let you fix it. They'll make you call a licensed mechanic to fix it, which I guess kind of makes sense. They want to make sure it's done right. right? And the safety of all the people on the road is at stake. I don't know what I'm blabbering about this morning. Good morning. Have you told yourself it's going to be a good day yet? It's going to be a good day, even if this Ford cuts me off. No, you decided not to? See, it's going to be a good day. You decided not to cut me off. He was thinking about it. Thinking about it. Chevy has right of way. Always. Just saying. <laughs> That's not true. All of these people are spraying me with their dirt. You wait there. Wait. Wait, Mr. Honda. Thank you. I have a feeling it's going to get slippery. I don't know if today, probably tonight, when it cools down a bit, but it's supposed to be around the freezing point for the rest of the week, like I was telling you like earlier. And then on Saturday, it's supposed to just dive down to minus 30 at night. We'll see if that changes before then. So here's a nice Dodge Ram. See, this is a nice Dodge Ram. I don't hate Dodge or Ford. I just like bugging them, okay? I'm just on Team Chevy. It's all in good fun. These are nice trucks. It's massive. Seriously, the 1500s is the size of a Chevy 2500. Beautiful truck. So don't take anything I say about trucks too seriously. Right? Around here, we like to bicker and banter with each other about trucks and brands. Right? It's, just, it's a fun thing we like to do. I'm not actually serious, but they're all good trucks. But like I was saying, on the weekend, it's supposed to dive down. And you know what? I'm, I'm kind of okay with that. <laughs> because last time we had it so cold during the week, right? When I had to work, and then it warmed up on the weekend. I'm almost so better, I always like it better that it's warm during the week while I'm working. And then if it wants to get cold, get cold on the weekend. What is this guy doing? Not nah, Oba. The speed limit is not 50, my friend. Where's your tailgate? All your stuff is gonna fly out. No judgment, whatever. Whatever, maybe you fell off. It happens. Just checking. Regen light is off, engine light is off. That'll turn off once the truck gets going. I don't want to start it up because I'm in the shop here yet. I don't want to. So she's running great. All the codes are off my dash. I got no lights lighting up at me. She's running way smoother than she was all of last week. So whatever he did this morning, he fixed every issue. This thing's running like a dream right now. That's good, that's why I came in, uh, I tried to get in earlier. I wanted to be uh, a half hour earlier. I wasn't gonna clock in, I just wanted to uh, check on the truck. You know, I was worried about her. This is the one that they've assigned to me, so, you know, I'm sort of attached to it. I wanna make sure she's good and healthy, running well, looking good. You know, she's dirty right now because of the climate we're in right now, winter time. But in summertime, she'll be clean. And uh, I worry about her. So I, I wanted to go in a little early to check on her. And she was already all fixed up and on the mend. And here we are. This truck is actually, it runs very nice. As it should. They just rebuilt it. So I'm not a perfectionist or anything like that. Like I'm not the cleanest, cleanest person on the planet. But I do like to take care of my stuff, and if I'm assigned a certain thing, I want to make sure that I take care of it. So when it's hurt and it's, you know, going to see the doctor, I want to check in on her, make sure she's doing all right. But it's going to be a good week. How about that? Let's say that. Instead, It's going to be a good day, but it's also, it's going to be a good week. Can you feel it? No? How about now? I'm sending good vibes your way. No? Nothing? Well then I can't help you. Tell yourself it's gonna be a good week. It's supposed to be warm all week. That's good. You moving over there, Mr. Gravel Truck? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Here. No, you're not going to move over. 
coming in the north end here. No idea what today has in store yet, but it is Monday. So obviously it's gonna be a good day. What Monday isn't a good day, right? It's a new week. Well, now this guy just wants to give her. Now you want to give her, bud. Now that I'm beside you. Okay. I can play that game. The speed limit's going down here, though. He doesn't care. He's going to keep giving her. All right. Well, you win this one. You win this one. But the law is on my side. I'm just saying. Gonna be another messy day. Make the most of it, you guys. It's supposed to start getting awfully cold after this week. Get him! Go get him, Chef! Where'd he go? Chevy, where is he? Where'd he go? Go get him. Burn off some energy before dad comes home. Oh my goodness. So vicious. Go in the house! Go in the house! Come on, Frank! I'm gonna get ya! I'm gonna get ya! Go to the house! Go, 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 go! Go, 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 go! Come on! Go to the house! <laughs> So, another day, another dock. Ugh. Very kind folks here where I'm uh, delivering to. Filled the trailer up once today already, I'm just emptying it out. It's been a good day so far, not too cold. They don't want me on the dock here. Where I picked up, there's two pieces to this load that I picked up. I had to pick it up in two different places. The first place didn't want me on the dock at all. I had to stay in the truck. The second place didn't want me in my truck. They wanted me on the dock. Now I came out here to deliver it outside the city, just south of Winnipeg. And they didn't want me on the dock either. Slowly learning. As I go to places more than once, I learn what their policy is. It's tough to keep up sometimes. <laughs> I usually just ask, you know, if you're not sure, I just ask them, like, you want me on the dock? Am I allowed on the dock? You want me to stay in my truck? Just so that I know, because I don't want to stay in my truck if they're expecting me to help on the dock, then I kind of look like the bad guy who's just lazy and doesn't want to help. 
But if they actually don't want me on there because of COVID and stuff, I don't want to show up on the dock and look like I'm not uh, listening to or respecting their policy, right? So it's just a simple question. You get there, uh, you let them know you're here, you announce your presence, and uh, you ask them, you want me on the dock or you want me to stay in the truck? Those are the options, and they'll give you one or two. It used to be more often that they'd want you in the dock, but I find now it's pretty much 50-50 where I've been going. Some people want me there, some people don't. The reason I like to be on the dock, like I've said before, is just so that I can make sure that they don't damage anything and they shouldn't. But that's not really a problem. That hasn't happened with me yet. But, uh, you know, there's a lot of future ahead of us. And if it does happen, I want to, I'd like to make sure I know where it happened and why. But other than that, I also have like other equipment in my trailer. I have a step ladder in there that helps me get into the trailer. I don't want that damaged. Uh, I have a pallet jack in there that helps me move the pallets around because a lot of places I go to don't have docks. So I'll go in there with my pallet jack and I'll bring the pallet to the end of the trailer and then they can come up with a forklift and pick it off the back of the trailer. I like to be on there to make sure that uh, that doesn't get damaged and that if they need to take it off the trailer to get at their stuff that they put it back on. But that's sort of why I check before I leave as well. Before I leave anywhere, I'll even if they close the door for me, I'll go to the back, I'll open it again, I'll look at how everything is, make sure everything's secured, and make sure that my pallet jack is still in the trailer, and make sure that they didn't damage or take my stepladder. Because I'm getting old. <laughs> the trailer I have now, I'll have to show it to you and explain it to you in a bit here or in the future. It has a, a special bumper on it that sticks out like maybe 10 inches or so, I don't know. I haven't measured it past the bumper where it would usually be. So to, to climb in there is kind of a, the, the step is far in. You sort of got to wrap yourself around this piece that sticks out, right? And sort of roll into the trailer. There's no steps or handles anywhere, which is fine. I can do it. But if I do it again and again and again all day, I'm getting older. My, my, my body starts asking me questions. What are we doing? Why are you abusing me? And stuff like that. I don't know. So I got the step ladder. Uh, that they actually got for me and uh, it makes getting in and out a lot easier and I sort of just have it tied to the inside on the side of the trailer. I'll show you later. I'll show you later. And uh, that just solves a lot of problems. Because, <laughs> you know, I'm turning 33 on April 1st and that's not a joke. April 1st is my birthday. I was born in 88. It's a good year. It's a good year. My wife was born in 89 so those are my two favorite years. So, uh, I'm an 80s baby. Great music in those days. So I'm going to be 33 in April. So I'm not old by any means, but I'm not exactly the springiest chicken out there either, right? If you give me a choice between like hopping into a trailer or taking a stepladder to ease the entry to said trailer, I'll pick the stepladder. I'm getting to that point where I'll be like, yeah, there's a stepladder. Why don't I just use the stepladder, right? We're getting there. We're getting to that point. <laughs> oh, that's where we are in life right now. I'm not old, but I'm not young. I'm like right in the middle. I'm starting to feel older though. Can't imagine. I got a few, like several decades in front of me yet. That's why I want to take it easy now so that in the future, I don't have like knee problems or back problems. I probably will anyway, but that I don't make them worse than they already are, right? What? Who wants to talk to me? Oh, an email. Oh, my cell phone provider. Thank you for your payment. I paid you like a week ago. You're just thanking me now? All right. Let's go out there. We'll go out here and check the trailer out real quick make sure they close the door door is closed however they didn't put this inside that's okay I can do that sure that's inside put you down there. okay so inside the trailer here now that it's empty got my pallet jack there that's strapped to the wall it's always in the way so I've always got to move that so when I'm not on the dock they have to move it that's why I always feel bad I like it when they're on the dock I have to sweep this out now. Got a little dirty on that last delivery. There's my step ladder to help me get in here because I'm an old man. There's my broom up there. And some cardboard and plywood and stuff here, Aspenite, just to uh, help, you know, hold things in place if that's what's needed. Okay, I'm just gonna find a better parking spot and then I'm gonna come back here, I'll sweep this out. 
So that's what I mean when I say I prefer to be on the dock, not just to make sure that nothing gets damaged, but also just to help out and get my stuff out of the way so that they can get their stuff in easier. But it is what it is. Some people like me to help out. Some people want to do it themselves and that's cool. If they want to do it themselves, that's fine. I'm just sit in my truck and twiddle my thumbs, watch YouTube, watch TikTok. Talk to you fine people. That's the opportunity to get to chat with you a little bit, right? Most of the day I'm busy running around. This is number one priority. When I'm behind this wheel, this is what I have to focus on. But when we have to wait at times like this, like now I'm just waiting for uh, new directions, then we can chat a little bit. That's a nice truck at the pumps there. Expensive headache rack, that's for sure. Imagine keeping that thing shiny. stopped here many times when we were over the road. They got the Timmies here. And most importantly, public bathrooms. Because <laughs> those are few and far between these days. So when you find one that's open, you remember. Look at those tires. I'd love to drive whatever those tires are for. Oh, 
Chevy, Chevy, watch him. Watch him. It's the commander's turn. Chevy. What are you doing? Is that what you wanted? Is that what you wanted? Hey, Diesel. How is your game? Chevy, go. Stay. 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 Hi, Frank. I know. How you doing, little buddy? And that is the rock star welcome I come home to every day. <laughs> Best part of the day. Britt was able to film a little bit here. She had the day off of work, so she was just hanging out here with the dogs today, playing in the backyard. I love adding that footage in there. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give the thumbs up. I'll see you tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss a video. We make a new one every day. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>